Hey everyone, welcome to Ask Me Monday number 44. I'm Vicki Howell. For those of you that are in the U.S., happy Labor Day. I'm happy to be here working for you. Um, and for the rest of the world, happy Monday. It's also Cheese Pizza Day, so there's cause for celebration. The other thing that is a cause for celebration, it is officially September, which means it is also officially craft season. Holding for applause right here. If I was in an actual studio shoot that wasn't just in my house, confetti would be raining down right now. This is the time of year that we as crafters all look forward to. This is when you get the fashion magazines and they've got all the cool layered pieces. If you're a knitter and crocheter, you know, scarves and hats and that kind of thing. Um, but if any kind of craft or artist, anything that you're gonna make, you really sort of start kicking into gear. In theory, it starts to cool off, although it is 11 degrees here. So if any of you guys doubt my commitment to Sparkle Motion by wearing a scarf when it's like 100 degrees with 100% humidity here in Austin, hopefully you no longer doubt it because I'm here for you. Um, but I'm really excited. Once September starts, everybody, like you can just feel like the energy change amongst our community. Everybody's really excited to start getting out there like papers and paints and yarns and you know, embroidery floss or whatever your medium is and really just start making, um, whether it's to decorate or give as gifts or just because it gets cooler and you just want to be in and you kind of get that whole nesting thing. So September, yay! So today's episode, because it is the first Monday of the month, that also means that it's Maker's Monday. That means that this episode is brought to you by our friends at Maker's Mercantile. And so they've actually sent me the product for what I'm going to be demoing today, which is going to be super fun. And they're offering um, a discount, a special discount for you viewers. And I'm going to tell you about that later when we talk about um, the actual demo. Oh, I see some of you are telling me, yes, those of you that watch a lot are saying where you're from. Hello, Shauna from Wisconsin. I love, love, love knowing where people are watching this from. So if you wouldn't mind, um, if you wouldn't just mind saying where you're watching this from, I would really appreciate it. It's just, it's such a cool thing to be able to know that I can be sitting in my, you know, my home studio in Austin and be talking to people all over the country and the world. So thanks for doing that. So first off, I wanted to address last week's giveaway for the Clover Big Needles. Uh, I had a couple sets to give away, and so I want to just get that off my plate. The winners are Renee Johnson and Dee Thompson. So Renee and Dee, I will post uh, in the show notes this email address, but if you'll just email submissions at vickihowell.com with your address, I will make sure that the Clover Peeps get it so that you can get your needles. Thanks to all of you for participating in that. Um, we love being able to give you, when I say we, all of my personalities love to be able to give you free stuff. But all the people that I work with really love to love the joy that comes out of um, being able to give stuff when we can. And um, so thank you for everybody for participating. Again, Renee and Dee, uh, that's submissions at VickiHowell.com. And I spell my name uh, with an E at the end. Uh, hi, Jane from Indiana. We've got Lori from Rhode Island. Um, we've got Chris from Vancouver, Washington. Um, all kinds of people. So good to see each other. I was really curious. So as I mentioned, it's a holiday here in the U.S. I know that sometimes this live time doesn't work for everyone if they don't work freelance or um, work from home or whatever, because, or, or, or it doesn't like align with their time zone for a lunch break or a dinner break. So I'm, I'm curious to see if there's more people with us live and not later because it's a, it's a holiday. So we're all in this experiment together, right? All right, so a couple things, other things I want to I want to address. I usually, for those of you that are new here, I usually always answer some questions that have been posted ahead of time on Instagram or Facebook um, or Twitter or wh whatever ahead of time. Then I usually talk about some other stuff I'm working on. Then I do a demo, and at the end I scroll through and see if there's any live questions that. Uh, that need to be answered. So uh, one thing, if those of you who follow me on Instagram, well, I think it was on Facebook too, because they auto post. I got bags in um, that have the tagline for my podcast. My podcast is called Craftish, but I always say breathe in, craft out. And now through my website, vickihell.com, you can order them. They're these really cool like eco bags too. I also have them that say breathe in, stitch out, if you prefer that. And I might have them that say breathe in, knit out. I'm not sure if I did that. I, I don't, 
I haven't figured out, I might do the crochet ones too, but it's not one syllable. It doesn't, doesn't roll off the bag tongue the same way. So, uh, so we'll see. Um, Rebecca says that she watches during her lunch break. That's awesome. I'm glad that it works out like that. Okay, uh, other business to get done. Um, this weekend, no, yes, it's Monday. This upcoming weekend, I will be in Dallas, Texas. Well, technically Arlington, Texas, teaching arm knitting and arm crochet, if you haven't done that. The arm crochet, we'll, we'll be making a cowl and we'll be making an infinity scarf for arm knitting. And um, it's a really low cost thing that you can do. You can bring the kids. If you go to texaspinners.com, just Google Pinners Conference. I'll try and put the, I'll also in the show notes, put the, uh, the link. But if you use the code Vicki Howell, it'll give you 10% off and then you know, you can pick and choose. There's a ton of cool courses. My friend Jennifer Perkins is going to be up there teaching how to make sort of flair for your jacket painting. My other friend Diane is going to be teaching leather tooling. So super fun. Um, hopefully, if you're in Texas, we would love to see you there. I'll be teaching on both the 9th and 10th. All right. So what we're going to be talking about today are these really cool curved double pointed needles. And they are like, what the what? Uh, Jeanette, I'll, I'll write the details in the show notes page, what and the where and when in Dallas, okay? So in episode, way back in episode four, we're at 44 now, I, t I gave the basics of DPNs, of how to use double pointed needles, right? So if those of you, if there's anybody out there that's curious about that, you can go to, if you're watching on Facebook, you can go click on videos and you'll see I have an Ask Me Monday playlist and you can go back to episode four and watch how uh, my demo where I talk about different lengths and sizes and different types of double pointed needles and how to cast on and knit with them. So we talked about that and then just a couple episodes ago, I think it was 42, we talked about the magic loop method, which is using a really, 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 really long double point or circular needle to knit any circumference right? Well, these needles are called Nico needles, and they're kind of a hybrid of both. So if one or the other didn't work for you, but you liked aspects of both of them, this may be your magic answer. And before I forget, Maker's Mercantile is offering free shipping when you buy more than two sets on your entire order from makersmercantile.com. And the reason why that's awesome is I don't know about you, but whenever I buy small stuff online, 50% of the time, no, no doubt, I back out because the shipping is almost as much as the product because it's so lightweight. And these run about 12 bucks, I think, 12 or $13. Uh, so anyways, but you can also get yarn and fabric and embroidery kits and gifts and stuff like that from there too. So if you do that, I think that goes, that discount goes until the 12th and you just use Ask Me Monday and I'll put that in the show notes as well as the code. So I'm going to show you, I only have one set, so normally I would do step outs for a video, um, meaning d having different phases already done. Um, hi, we've got someone from Canada too. Hi, Vic Vicki, nice seeing you. Um, but because I don't have more than one set, I am going to have to work a little bit backwards. For those of you that are with me every week, I had to do the same thing when I was working on the Zoom Loom as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be flipping the camera around and I'm going to show you how to knit on them first and then I'll pull this piece off and I'll show you, I'll talk about casting on. Does that work for everyone? Yes? General outrage? No? Everything good? Okay, the first thing that I did want to talk, I want to talk about the benefits. First off, um, I did a little research on the company. These are out of Germany. They are developed by an actual like lifelong knitter who started out just wanting a cable needle that didn't that didn't uh, lose all the stitches. So she created a cable needle that's curved. It's shorter than this, obviously, but curved so it wouldn't fall off. Brilliant, right? And then she took the leap and she moved on to her curved double pointed needles and the abbreviation for this, abbreviation for double pointed needles is DPN, right? So this is CDPN if you start to see them in patterns because this is kind of a new thing. And it's pretty exciting because, you know, knitting's been around, nobody actually knows how long knitting's been around, but let's just say Egypt before the dawn of time. Let's just say that because uh, science. Um, so there's not a lot of new and exciting tools. Like they're all kind of riffs on the old stuff, maybe a new material, maybe a different length, but this is truly um, 
ingenious. So I'm pretty excited to be able to show you these today. So apparently in Germany, this kind of knitting, and I, I couldn't really decipher from the from the post I was reading. So I don't know if it's just knitting in the round. I, I think it's just knitting in the round, but maybe with these tools. The term for it translates to knitting game, which made me giggle because these definitely look like pickup sticks. Well, curved pickup sticks, I guess DPNs do too, but I totally got how it is fun. So the cool thing, um, let me talk about the benefits first. Well, I'll talk, the negatives um, I have not found, to be honest with you. Now, I've done this much, <laughs> so I definitely wouldn't say like my 25 years of using these. Um, I mean, the negative is there's a learning curve like with anything learning curve, um, like with anything else, but it was relatively small. And really all it is is like, oh, these are pointing in different directions than I'm normally used to. So that was really it. The benefits for me are the stitches do not fall off like they can with double pointed needles. I often throw my projects in my purse all the time. And sometimes I try to, I like that somebody said hashtag cause science. I say that a lot, especially to my children. Um, I throw my stuff, my, like I'm always trying to, I'm a big proponent of taking, getting stitches in or getting a little crafting time anytime in your day. And to do that, you have to take your stuff with you. And I throw, um, I throw my stuff in the bag all the time. Well, how many of you have done that with your double pointed needles and then you lose stitches? And if you catch it, it's not that big of a deal. If you don't catch, catch it, you've got drop stitches. Beverly wants to know where to get them. You get them at makersmercantile.com and I'll put that in the show notes area. And that's just in the comment section. I just write show notes in, in all caps. So that is a huge for me. And also not just when you're throwing them around, but also when you're working. If, especially if you've got fully loaded needles, these aren't fully loaded. And when I say that, I mean you've got stitches going all the way almost to the tips. Um, when you have a straight needle, they inevitably stitches fall off and it can be frustrating. So that's the, that's the first major benefit to these. The second major benefit, and this can happen with both double pointed needles and with um, the magic loop method, is that without, you know, when you where the areas join, especially at the beginning of a round, often there's a ladder or like a little jog or a gap. And there are some, you know, like nifty tricks that you can do to make that not happen. But with these, I'm going to show you, and hopefully, I'm depending on a phone camera, hopefully you can see. This is, you can tell this is the beginning of my round, right? Because you can see the tail. I did nothing, okay, let's see. I wonder if I touch it well. I did nothing special here, and you can't tell where the beginning of the round is. Isn't that awesome? Like for me, that's such a big benefit because sometimes, I don't know, you know, especially me because I have to, I photograph my stuff, you know, for blogs or whatever. If I get the jog, if I forgot to do my special, you know, tricks or whatever, I'm like, I guess I'm just photographing the front of this because I don't, you know, it's like showing like the back of your work if you're embroidering. You're like, let's just show the good side. Well, this makes it so all sides are good. Do you have sides when you're knitting in the round? You know what I mean. So without further ado, I am going to show you how to knit with these. The most important thing to note is that you're, like with double pointed needles, you're really only working with two needles at a time. The sets come in three. Two of them are to hold your stitches. And one is to knit with. Got it? So I'm going to, I know there was at least, I saw at least a couple of you that have your yarn and needles with you because you were going to try and do this with me, which is awesome. But what I'm going to ask you to do is just watch this first part because I'm starting, as I said, with an already cast on piece. Then I'll flip around. I'll talk to you for a second while I hopefully keep you busy enough while I recast on stitches. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to talk about how to get started on them. And then maybe at that point you can join in. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the little flip around. Uh, Makers Mercantile also sent me um, some Zitron yarn. Fun fact, the same woman owns Makers Mercantile. Um, that uh, is the CEO of Scassel that does Addy Turbos and Zitron and Zauerball and Kensington and um, all these amazing yarns. So you can also get all that stuff on their site. All right, I'm going to do a little flipper rooney here. And as always, for my regulars, you know this is never pretty, but... We're giving it a try. Okay, I am going to get way closer than you should ever be to me, and I'm gonna do a flip around.
Okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, so I've got my piece here. Let me see if I can move this. I'm gonna move it back just a little bit because these are longer than my reach. And I'm also gonna move in just a little bit more light. Alrighty, so I'm at my beginning of my round. I see my tail. I also, I have half stitches on each needle and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that when we cover the, the um, cast on portion. So whenever you're working with this, this, basically the stitches that would be on your left hand needle if you were working straight, right? So the ones that are on the left hand side, and this is regardless if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's just the way the stitches are loaded. Thank you. Somebody, <laughs> Miranda said the best flip yet. Thank you. I'm doing a little bow over here. <laughs> I try. Okay, so uh, to get ready to knit these stitches, I'm going to push them so they're no longer on the curve. I use the curve just for the stitches that are on hold. Now this little guy, you can either have fully erect like that, terrible choice in words, um, <laughs> or you can, let the, you can have them face down. You just kind of have to figure out what works for you. All right. Um, so then you're gonna introduce the third needle and just basically ignore the curve on this one. You're really only dealing with this part right now. And you're just going to start knitting. And, you know, obviously if you're a continental knitter, you would knit differently than I'm knitting. I'm a thrower or English knitter, so this is how I'm doing. Um, and you're just going to knit as you normally would. And I hope you are hangy down part, hangy down part. I'm ignoring the other needle and I'm only working with this part. Uh, Jenny, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Yes, I'll put the... Um, I will put what's holding my phone in the show notes for you. Uh, it's just this awesome tripod, tripod my husband got me. All right, so you knit all of the stitches that are on that needle, and you have an empty needle. And this is the same thing that would happen if you were working at double points, right? But then you want to slide all of these stitches around and you're gonna do a little rotate action and just keep knitting. So, because we're gonna work on these stitches, it's easier, I find it's easier to push them to the front. And again, you know, this might be different for you and if you had a more fully loaded needle than I did, you may not have to push as much. I'm working on a very small circumference, so I'm gonna push them. But the cool thing is, is that I could, I could make a hat on these too because they're this big. And then you just continue. So we're halfway there. Uh, Beth, do they come in different lengths? I believe that they do. They come in different sizes and lengths. But you're talking about Christmas stockings. I think that this length would be fine for a Christmas stocking, to be honest with you. It would obviously depend on... I need to look and see if they have a bigger gauge version, because I would love to try it on some thicker yarns. But uh, Melinda, yes, you do need to get some. Make sure that you get them while they're, while they're having the special where you get the free shipping off your order, because that'll, that'll save you... It might save you enough that you can actually get another pair, honestly. It drives me nuts when shipping is like $7 on a $12 item or whatever. Okay, so that is one complete round. Does that sound good? Wait, why did I just see an angry face? Someone just floated an angry face. Sad. My response is a sad face. Back at you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. Uh, Jody wants to know what the gauge range for this is. I will post that in the, I got another mad face, so, so much. Oh, there's some love, okay, good. Um, so I just pulled that off and now I'm gonna talk casting on. So your cast on method doesn't matter at all. And I'm sorry, Jody, I didn't finish answering your questions. I'll post the a link to the page that goes directly to all of the needles they carry because I do not know off the top of my head. Wait, do I have enough? No. I don't know off the top of my head how many, uh, what the range is, so I'll make sure to get that answer and I will post it in the show notes as well. 
These that I'm working on are US sixes, which are four millimeters. Susan said she had a similar set of 13s that she picked up. So maybe that's, I don't know if those are the same brand or not, so I can't speak to that. Um, the cast on method doesn't matter. This is, I do, this is just the fastest way I cast on because I was taught this way. This is, I call this the single, uh, I'm answering Megan's question. I call this the single tail cast on. I might have made up that name, <laughs> who knows. If you're interested in seeing how it's done, I have a video that goes slower than this um, on my YouTube channel. So that's just youtube.com and then backslash Vicki Howell. And it's under the get schooled knitting list. Um, I just like it, it's super fast. I learned this way. It gives you the same uh, look as the long tail cast on. So you've got kind of that finished edge. And I have no idea how many stitches I'm casting on. It's not all that relevant for this demo. But um, once you figure out, obviously you'd follow your pattern or you do you. And, oh, Nancy says she casts on like I do too. Yay, I don't find people that often that do. Which is funny because I learned from a really well-known woman named Edith Eich how to, how to cast on. Um, but I find, I find that most people learn with the long tail method, which is also good. But it gives you that same bottom edge. All right, so once I've, oh, there's my red hair, classy. Um, once I've cast on the amount of stitches that I have, I want to go ahead and split them up between two needles. And you do this in the same manner, or at least I'm doing it in the same manner, as you would for DPNs, as you just introduce a new one. and then you're gonna just slip them over. And you wanna put approximately half, if you're working with an odd number, it won't be, it won't be exactly half, onto your second needle. Oh, there's a lot of people that say they cast on using that cast on. Does anybody else call it by a different name than the single tail cast on? Just out of curiosity. Okay. Talk amongst yourself while I finish sliding these over. I'm just gonna kinda eye this for being half. Normally I would count, but I don't wanna make you guys have to wait for that. So it's gonna be about half. And once I have, yes, it is, it is similar to working with two circular needles. Um, that is correct. Somebody just said that, but it's already scrolled past, so I can't see the name. Oh, Raylan, you call it the thumb cast on. That's probably, a that's probably a more accurate name. So once I've cast on and s separated them, they will look vaguely like this. And I'm just gonna lay them down so that you can see just for a second, for those of you that are maybe casting on with me. It looks like, it, I mean, it looks a little crazy, but it's easy, it was super easy. I found that there was, it was, I didn't even really, I didn't watch any videos, I didn't do anything, I picked them up and started working with them. Um, and so that's kind of a testament to a really nice product, I think. All right, so to get started to join the round, I'm just gonna show this and then we'll flip back. Oh, that's adorable. So Alexis is saying that um, there's a book called Esperanza where the grandma always knit one gray hair in with her project so her grandchildren would know it was from her. Kind of creepy and also kind of adorable. So my red hair may live with this. Okay, so I'm gonna join the round. So I'm gonna push the stitches up like I did when I was knitting so that it's they're fully loaded at the end. And I did it on the wrong side because we are live. I gotta flip it over. Also, make sure that you don't twist your round. And to do that, you wanna lie it on a table and just run your finger around the border and just make sure that you've got the same sort of like underside edge all facing the same way. Oh, I think someone might be watching from Germany and speaking to me in German, and I wish that I could communicate back with you. Okay, so now, for reels this time, your tail is over here. This is the, the working yarn. The working yarn is the one that's connected to the ball of yarn. See, ball of yarn. I've got my stitches on my left-hand needle, what I'm calling my left-hand needle, over here, over all the way to the edge. I'm introducing the third needle, 
And like with all knitting, the first round is always the most persnickety. It just, it just is. You get through it, we all get through it together. So then you're going to yarn over and knit. This is easier to do when I don't have a camera right below me. And just continue knitting all the way around the way that you, the way that I showed you before. So I hope, hopefully that made sense to you. It's so hot in here. Oh, hi. You can tell, you can tell I'm working hard because I'm all sweaty. Uh, I saw a couple of you, oh, okay, so where do you say they have these? Uh, our sponsor today, makersmercantile.com, and I'll put it down. They are carrying them, and they are offering a 10% off, I'm sorry, they are offering free shipping for two sets or more on your entire order, yarn, fabric, whatever. And the package looks like this. They're called Nico Needles, um, and they're out of Germany, super cool, awesome stuff. Um, a couple of you have asked about this scarf that I'm wearing that I kind of want to take off because I'm so hot. Um, it, this is a free for you pattern that will be up tomorrow on the Tuesday morning blog. Are you familiar with Tuesday morning? At least the people that are in, there's only, it's kind of geo, sort of like regional, I think in the US, but uh, we have a store called Tuesday morning out here and um, they asked me to blog for them and come up with something using the yarns that they carried there and it's a lot of like high-end yarn. So this is the scarf. Um, it uses all kinds of different yarns and you can use any size needle or the size needle for the thickest yarn. Super fun. For those of you that have been following me since the nitty gritty days, I used to wear a huge version like a shawl that was oranges that was very similar to this, a, little, a different stitch pattern and much thicker, but it was the same vein. It was super fun to just grab different yarns and make something fun. Really great way to, way, to make um, unique gifts. So that'll go live on Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning's blog tomorrow, I'll make sure to post about it. Um, do you know the print shows up backwards when you show packages? Yes, you know why? Because I have the camera flipped um, like in selfie mode, it's just one of those things that's going to have to work out and uh, work itself out in live streaming. We're kind of pioneering this whole thing, like the whole having like a weekly series live streaming from your house shot on your phone is, I mean, we're in like, this started one year ago here on Facebook. I've, I've been fortunate to be doing it the entire time, but there's a lot of stuff, much like how it often drops off and the picture quality is not amazeballs all the time. Um, it's just one of those things that we just have to sort of find endearing the way that I'm sure some of the issues with Pong back in the 80s um, were annoying, but also now we look back at them with nostalgia, we'll be doing the same thing for these live streams. So um, that is that. I think that's all I've got today. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through and see if there's any questions I didn't ask. Um, I'm gonna jump off after that. I get new floors in my studio tomorrow, so I have to I have to clean the entire room. I'm working on a bunch of designs for stuff that I'm gonna be able to talk to you about later that I'm super excited about. So um, we're busy here and I'm gonna hang out with the kids. So let me do the big scrolly scroll um, and see if there's anything that I left out. Oh, somebody does remember that orange shawl. Liz, you remember the orange shawl? That's awesome. Um, it looks like Oh, Christina wants to know how it's going to be easier. But maybe you didn't, just the reasons that I said at the beginning, I just found it's easier. I just found it was really nice to not have to worry about stitches falling off. Um, and also about there not being a jog, like a ladder jog. So it's just a preference. Um, some people will like working with three needles more than four to five with double point is better. Or they'll like not having that ladder from the, um, that you can sometimes get with the magic loop. So that's that. You can just check it out. It may work for you, it may not, but at least you got to uh, got to get the scoop on these, this new product and it was super fun. So it looks like I got pretty much, looks like I got all these questions answered while we were going, so that's a win, that's a Labor Day win. All right, so I think we're gonna wrap up. Thank you, thank you as always for spending time with me, especially because it's a holiday today. Um, I appreciate you tuning in, let me know, letting me know, you know where you're at. Please, if you like this series, share the video, um, tell your friends about it, get them to follow me. Um, I'd really appreciate it. I pretty much run on word of mouth and then like these small like Facebook like boosts that I do, but um, I really appreciate it. If you want to go back and watch other episodes, you can either watch on YouTube um, or you can watch here on Facebook where you're watching it. You just go to my 
my Facebook page, click on videos, and you'll see the Ask Me Monday playlist, and you can see all 44 of them. So thank you very much. Have the great rest of your day, and I will see you next week on Ask Me Monday. Bye, everyone.